Welcome to Tasting the Tri-State. We're dining all over, discovering exciting local cuisine, sampling new creations, and learning what makes your favorite dishes so special. Just wait till you see what we're cooking up this week on Tasting the Tri-State. We're at Haney's Corner at Walton's International Comfort Food. Oh my goodness, what a restaurant this is. Thanks for having us. Thank you for being here. Tim, what's the name Walton's originate from? Walton's is the name of the building. Uh, this building was originally built as a Packard dealership in 1911. This is a very cool um, building to have brought back kind of as a piece of Evansville history. It is, and they also um, had a maintenance shop on the second floor. And now the second floor is actually... Fidel's Bourbon Fidel's. Bar, and um, then we have banquet seating up there. It is really eclectically decorated here in the restaurant, and your menu kind of goes with that same theme. It does, just kind of little this and little that. What are we going to make today back in the kitchen? Uh, we're doing a uh, Peking duck pizza, pulled pork barbecue. We're doing a beef Japanese yakisoba. It's all about the comfort, yep. isn't it? Yep. We'll be right back. We're going in the kitchen. Walton's International Comfort Food next on Tasting the Tri-State. Tasting the Tri-State is brought to you by IBEW Local 16. I'm Paul Green, business manager of IBEW Local 16. Could you imagine life without electricity? It's so important to all of us. That's why we are so highly trained and drug free. Go to swielectric.com for a contractor using our electricians. All of us at Old National Bank are very proud to partner with IBEW Local 16. They share a common passion for this community and they do great quality work. Thank you for being safe and thank you for using IBEW Local 16 men and women. Patriot Chevrolet is SUV country. Prax, Equinox, Traverse, Tahoe. We have a vehicle to fit your family. Check PatriotOnline.com. Just a smidgen up the road from everywhere and quite simply a better experience at Patriot Chevrolet, Princeton, Indiana. Smidgen. The Tri-State's Roofers Local 106 contractors have you covered, using only highly skilled drug-free union workers to get the job done right and safe. For residential, commercial, and industrial roofing, contact Roofers Local 106. Go to RoofersLocal106.com. We have you covered. Outdoor entertaining is easy with F.T. Kelly and Sons. From pergolas, custom fire pits, furniture, and more, F.T. Kelly has it. Make your backyard paradise with F.T. Kelly and Sons. Splash into fun with F.T. Kelly and Sons. From new pool construction to all your chemical and pool supplies, F.T. Kelly and Sons is your place. Make your backyard paradise with F.T. Kelly and Sons. Good morning, everyone. Looks like it's going to be another hot and humid one out there, with temperatures breaking into the 90s by midday. Temperatures are rising, so make sure you're prepared to escape the heat. With a rugged and reliable Coleman air conditioning system, your indoor forecast is consistently 72 and cool. Get a free evaluation of your system and learn how you could save significantly on energy costs this season. Proudly designed, engineered, and assembled in the USA, go to ColemanAC.com. Here's all the paperwork, including Mills Body Shop's National Lifetime Transferable Warranty on paint and workmanship. Was it in an accident? Yes, but it's better than new now. With Mills National Lifetime Transferable Warranty, if anything goes wrong with the paint or workmanship, Mills will take care of it. Well, they did great work. That's Mills Body Shop. Mills Body Shop is proud to be the first and only body shop in the tri-state area to offer a National Lifetime Transferable Warranty. Get more with Mills Body Shop. I'm with Jordan at Walton's International Comfort Food. Comfort food is something that makes you feel good. Maybe a comfort food might be something your grandmother made or a relative or something that just makes you go, ah. Oh. So Walton's is everything. It's like this yummy, smoky barbecue. This has been smoking all evening just for me, right? Yes, ma'am. We use anywhere from a 18 to 21 pound shoulder. We awesome. smoke our shoulders overnight and we rub them down with barbecue comes out and right there, right then and there, they take it and pull it. The neat thing is that pork is injected with some kind of sauce. We actually do two different barbecue sauces here. We have a Tennessee barbecue sauce, which is a vinegar-based pepper sauce. And then we also have um, a sauce that uh, comes out of Boonville that 
can't be purchased anymore. Something we call Jim's Barbecue. It's one of our chef's friends. An apple juice, Jim's secret barbecue sauce and apple juice inside the meat, and then it's rubbed? Yes, ma'am. With a dry rub? Uh, it's a barbecue rub that we build. It's our chef's recipe. And they season it so well, so when it's done, there's nothing more to do to it. That's from when we inject it. It really brightens it up, helps it cook through the inside, and since we do it in the smoker, helps keep everything inside. Oh, I can't wait to try this. They go through a lot of barbecue here, and I see why. They have it on the pizza. We have a barbecue strawberry pizza, and then we also put that in our uh, rice bowls. Whatever your comfort level is, they want to fulfill it. Also, we have um, our pulled pork sandwiches. When we start to dress it up on the pulled pork, we will actually put more of the gyms over top of it, and we'll serve it with a cup of our Tennessee barbecue, another in-house made sauce. Is Jim's a sweet sauce, or is it more of a, a vinegary? Jim's is sweet, and then Tennessee is going to be stronger vinegar. Nice, what a good combo. So, Jordan, you're gonna keep pulling this, but next we're gonna go to something else that Walton's is famous for, which is... Brick oven pizza. I wanted to do international comfort food. We just didn't know what comfort food we wanted to do besides the uh, brick oven pizza. So we purchased our oven out of California. And then from that point, as we found equipment, basically we bought a lot of um, equipment from auctions. So as we would find unique equipment at the auctions, then we would add items to our menu. And it's kind of how it fell together. You're gonna make me a pizza. Uh, yes, ma'am, we're going to do a special we've been running and looking at to put on the menu, and it's the uh, Peking Duck Pizza. Peking Duck? We like to do something different that everybody else isn't doing, and um, it's just something fun to do. Okay, how do we start? Uh, wow. We start out with uh, throwing out the dough. It is a yeast dough crust that we, um, we roll out um, pretty thin. I already have a piece of dough proofing for this. Okay. It, it gives you a nice, light, crispy, Crust. Since it is a thinner crust and we put it into this oven, which is probably sitting about 600, 650 degrees oh. right now, it's going to uh, crisp up much harder than a normal pizza you would find around here. Is this a special dough that you use? Is it a, a family recipe of some kind? It's, there's no uh, hidden ingredients in here. We just mm -hmm. rely on the actual oven and ingredients to make the pizza for us. Gotcha. Our ingredients are all fresh from scratch. We do a Peking duck. We'll get the breast in, we rub it down, and I believe these were actually baked instead of smoked. There's a richness to duck, paired with some mozzarella cheese on the bottom of the pizza, and then the hoisin sauce, which gives it a really sweet kind of taste. It is one of the main ingredients for Peking duck. After we've built it, we give it a shake to make sure the semolina is going to let it give because when we slide it into the oven, it, uh, it has to stay in place so that it can crisp up on the bottom so that mm -hmm. we can use the peel to move it around the oven. After it's baked, it's topped with arugula and fresh green onions. He's gonna take care of this pizza. This is going to the tasting table. And next, we are doing an international dish, which Walton's International Comfort Food, of course, is known for. Stay tuned on Tasting the Tri-State. Flooring choices like stain-resistant carpets. It's just one of the many reasons to send your friends to Greer's Flooring America. And here's another reason. It's our Tough Stuff Flooring Sale. Save on Inovia Extreme Clean and Inovia Touch Extreme Clean carpets, as well as Woodcraft Hard Surface Flooring. Now at Greer's Flooring America. Where friends send friends. Ending A Bug's Life with your host, Charlie McMahon. You might not see the damage, but there could be an all-you-can-eat termite buffet going on inside your wall. McMahon Exterminating can take care of these unwanted house guests and keep them out. You guys have bit off way more than you can chew this time. Remember, who can end a bug's life? McMahon can. I'll be back. Jim Frost Insulators, local 37, yeah. They insulate the USA and the train to know just how. Industrial insulation, insulators got it down. I use the ones that know the job, they keep it green.
that never stop. Best at what they do in this town. They're the insulators. At Camelot Jewelers, we realize picking out that perfect ring is a big deal. And you may not even have any idea where to start. Well, hold up. Yes, it is a big deal, but really, it's not that bad. For some guys, it's just a walk in the park. And for others, it's a bit of a group effort. But no matter what, we're here to help at Camelot Jewelers. Hey foodies, pick up What's Cooking magazine and stay fresh on Tri-State Dining. Hello everybody, Stephen Rager here, owner of Champion Home Inspections, a member of the local Tri-State professional community for your residential home inspection needs. We are the Tri-State Pros! Go to tristatepros.com, the trusted source for professional services. We have your future covered. Join the Tri-State's Roofers Local 106. Quality training, great wages, health care, retirement, and more. Become an apprentice and join the family. Go to rooferslocal106.com and apply today. Check out the new terrains and Acadias at PatriotOnline.com. Choose the one that's right for you. If we don't have it, we can get it. Patriot GMC is just a smidgen up the road and quite simply a better experience. Patriot GMC, Princeton, Indiana. Smidgen. We're back in the kitchen at Walton's International Comfort Food and we are making peppered beef yakisoba. Yakisoba, did I say it right? Yes, you did, Lauren. International comfort food. The yakisoba is a basic Japanese dish. It's more of a um, country Japanese. This is a quick, easy dish. Absolutely, there's, there's definitely some allure to it. So we're gonna be on the wok station right here. Look at these huge woks. Our woks are basic, basic Chinese restaurant woks. Um, we have two, um, they, they cook at 50,000 BTUs a piece. It's like a little jet engine under there. It's, it's real quick dishes. We have a separate one where we do mostly vegetarian stuff, try to keep uh, try to keep things separate. Then over here, we'll do the pepper beef yakisoba, which mm -hmm. we're doing today. They're made to where you can lock the flavor in quick, and you know anything you cook in, it's gonna cook in. You know, you put a dish together in less than a minute. So I'm gonna start out with our vegetables. Okay. And we're gonna hit that with some of the oil. Pure sesame oil. We're gonna add water to it. And that's the... pretty intense. That that oil is very it's intense. It's very aromatic. Yeah. Just that little bit just fills, fills your nose. We have the uh, actual yakisoba. Which is a great cut because as it cooks really fast, it, it tenderizes immediately. And it almost tastes like it's a filet or something, but it's delicious, beautiful pieces of flank steak. So on the weekend, you can come in, sit down for something like this, but if somebody only has an hour for lunch, they can come in, get one of the rice bowls. And the rice bowls we mix with broccoli, carrots, and cabbage and we can have it whipped up ready for you in about five minutes. Awesome. You get your choice of protein, which is a uh, pork, chicken, or shrimp, right. or if you prefer not, we have tofu as an option. The rice bowl is considered the morimono, which is a meal in a bowl. Um, it is a steamed Japanese rice with wok cooked vegetables, and then we offer three sauces. We offer our teriyaki sauce that's made in-house, our peanut sauce that's made in-house, and our Korean barbecue sauce. This is just such a diverse restaurant, from pizza to pulled pork to Asian dishes. That's the allure of Walton's. The, that's the uh, international comfort food. You can yeah. come in here and you will find something that fits your palate. This restaurant is yeah. everyone. one. So now that this is starting to get cooked down, we're going to add the noodles. So are the noodles like a ramen type of noodle, or they, they're soba? These are soba, soba noodles. Soba noodles. And it's got a sauce on it called a bulldog sauce, which is a Japanese Worcestershire. Oh. Comfort food, that's glorious. And we come over here and we <laughs> finish it off with the chopped green onion. Mm, 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 mm. And that's our final product. All right, this is going to the tasting table. What would you like to do next? Let's do our thin cut catfish. Oh, comfort food, extraordinaire fried fish. All of our catfish comes out of Tunica, Mississippi. Yeah. They're the world's largest independent catfish farmer. This is a high quality catfish. It's a very sweet catfish. You have none of the musty off flavor that you can get sometimes in catfish. And these are fillets, right? Yes, ma'am. They dredge it in 
the cornmeal. Our breading is not going to be a thick, heavy breading. It's a, it's a light coating, and you get your cornmeal. It's a very fine grind. And put it in the fryer. It's crispy, perfect. It also comes with hush puppies. Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, those hush puppies. That's comfort. That's southern comfort. So it's also served up with a cup of our coleslaw and a cup of our tartar, both made in-house again. OK. The we, tartar sauce is made in-house. The coleslaw is made in-house. Our coleslaw is my grandmother's recipe. It's an old Mississippi recipe. It's a mayonnaise, uh, apple cider vinegar based with um, a sweetness of sugar in there. What a plate of food. It's Aww. hearty. Jordan, you've been wonderful to work with in the kitchen. I cannot wait to taste your food on the tasting table. Thanks so much for having tasting here in your kitchen. We appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Next coming up, the tasting table. Ho, 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 it's all about comfort at Walton's International Comfort Food here at Haney's Corner in Evansville on Tasting the Tri-State. Staying connected in life is important to us, especially during these shareable moments. But adding that personal touch is what really brings us together. That's why we have two UPS store locations in the Evansville community to help make those connections quicker and easier. Our network of United Problem Solvers are just around the corner to assist with all of your printing, packaging, receiving, and shipping solutions. We know the value of a lasting connection, so come see what Brown can do for you here at your locally owned UPS store. Self Insurance Services, this is Charles Self, can I help you? Hi, I heard you carry Erie Insurance, which provides Erie's rate lock so I don't have to worry about price increases. Yes, absolutely, we have Erie Insurance and many other top companies. Wow, I'm so glad I called you. Self Insurance Services is an independent insurance agency that works hard to find you the best plan at the best rates. Thank you so much, that just really makes my day. Do yourself a favor, call Self Insurance Services today. Since 1952, Farm Boy has been the better choice for families in the Tri-State when it comes time to get together and make life special. Farm Boy Meats in the Farm Boy Food Mart on North Kentucky has the most delicious array of frozen meat, steaks, sausage, pizza, burgers, and more. Farm Boy has over 5,000 items and growing. Farm Boy Meats can be found in fine stores and restaurants all over the Tri-State or stop by the Food Mart at 2771 North Kentucky in Evansville. Farm Boy Meats, just a little better. Your car's transmission has 800 pieces. That means there are 800 things that could go wrong. When something does go wrong, there's only one place to go, AMCO. We're the transmission experts with over 50 years experience rebuilding and replacing transmissions and all their 800 pieces. That's AMCO, double A, MCO. Now save 150 on our top quality replacement transmission. Good morning, everyone. Looks like it's going to be another hot and humid one out there, with temperatures breaking into the 90s by midday. Temperatures are rising, so make sure you're prepared to escape the heat. With a rugged and reliable Coleman air conditioning system, your indoor forecast is consistently 72 and cool. Get a free evaluation of your system and learn how you could save significantly on energy costs this season. Proudly designed, engineered, and assembled in the USA, go to ColemanAC.com. Get the most style, comfort, and value at Town Square Furnishings. Transform your dining room from the comfort of your own sofa at lotsofcomfort.com. Town Square Furnishings. Lots of style, lots of comfort for a lot less. Get the most style, comfort, and value at Town Square Furnishings. Transform your bedroom from the comfort of your own sofa at lotsofcomfort.com. Town Square Furnishings. Lots of style, lots of comfort for a lot less. The tasting table is provided by Town Square Furnishings in Boonville. We're with Tim Mills, owner of Walton's International Comfort Food at this beautiful tasting table. Thanks for having us. You're very welcome. And seeing your awesome kitchen. This food just makes you go, oh, I'm home. Well, that's what we try to create. We knew we wanted a family-style restaurant that was fun with a great atmosphere. You can come in here and 
have feel-good food from up to seven different countries. That's so unique. Tim's culinary experience spans, I think, about 38 years, if not more. Both these dishes are Japanese. Mm -hmm. One is yakisoba, which is, which is a comfort food in Japan. I'm a noodle lover through and through. It was peppery and sweet and delicious. The other is mm. uh, uh, known as donbori mono, which is a meal in a bowl. He's a trained culinary chef who really knows his stuff. So when he puts something on the menu, you know it's gonna be good. I love Asian food. Japanese is probably one of my favorites, and I'm not talking about sushi, but I'm talking about real Japanese food where you get really into the culture of Japan. The chicken rice bowl that I had with the veggies and the rice had a delicious sauce. This is a peanut sauce? That is a peanut sauce Yum. made here in-house. We also offer teriyaki sauce mm -hmm. that we make here in-house and a Korean barbecue sauce. Mm. And you can get a choice of shrimp, chicken, pork, Definitely a comfort, it's healthy. Very healthy. Mm-hmm, fantastic bowl. How did you get into the pizzas? The pizzas, that's really, our, our restaurant was based ar around the pizza when we first created and designed the dining room. Mm -hmm. It was designed to where anywhere you sit in the dining room, you can see the fire in the oven. It's so interesting, this duck pizza. Yeah, and that's a Peking duck pizza. Peking duck pizza. You can see that the duck on it became very crispy and mm -hmm. unctuous. We do a smoked uh, duck duck leg and thigh. Mm. Um, mm. And then that has, instead of your pizza sauce, it has hoisin sauce, mm -hmm. um, along with green onions, and we add arugula to that. Incredible flavor. As that duck hits a 600 degree oven, it just sort of melts a little bit, runs all the way through a pizza, almost like what, what pepperoni does when it's cooked or sausage. This is delicious yeah. pizza. Again, it's gonna, it's something that you're not gonna see every day, you know, and that's what we try to create. We try to create something that you're not gonna just go out to any restaurant and have. Sure, everybody has their comfort zone. Here's the truth about something, I am not a huge catfish fan, but I love when a restaurant changes my mind. I'm now a catfish lover. Oh, who to thunk? Walton's did it right, so come out of your comfort zone a little bit. Come down and try Walton's unusual comfort cuisine. This is just a small amount of items that Walton's has to offer. Correct. The tasting table that we did today uh, gives you a small example of what we serve. Uh, the one thing that we did not highlight is our Thai curry bowls. We have more sandwiches. This is so good. Yeah, the Reuben, Reuben we do that a little different. I worked early in my career in New York and Washington DC and really fell in love with pastrami. Oh yeah. So we, we do a pastrami Reuben, not a corned beef Reuben. What is this? That is called a southern fry. It is a fried chicken breast oh. with um, jalapeno pimento cheese and uh, spicy capricola ham on top, and it's served oh. with our house-made pickles and oh our goodness. seasoned fries. Again, it That's goes... probably our top-selling sandwich. Oh, gracious. So we serve a Wagyu beef hamburger and a po' boy, which um, is probably our second most popular item. There's breakfast on the weekends. There is your bourbon bar upstairs. Fidel's upstairs, mm -hmm. which is really a carryover from down here, but it is more of a high-end bar. We offer 125 premium bourbons, uh, about 75 premium scotches. We also do the same thing with premium vodka, gin, tequilas, vintage rums, and we're bringing in more higher-end wine. It's just the best of the best. It's becoming the place in town to go. You can sit and lounge with friends and you can converse and have a nice cocktail in a relaxing atmosphere and you can also order food from the menu downstairs. Your food is incredible. Well, thank Tim. you. This is such a great restaurant. Walton's is a great place for everyone to come. Uh, we're family friendly, open seven days a week for lunch and dinner and brunch on weekends, and we welcome all of the Tri-State to come and join us. I'm so glad I got to come down to Walton's. It's everything that you would want to just get that warm and fuzzy. It just makes you feel like you're hugged when you come to Walton's. Well, just a you. great feeling, wonderful restaurant, great people. So thanks for having Tasting the Tri-State. Thank you. Coming up next is Just Desserts on Tasting the Tri-State. See you in a bit. Hey foodies, pick up What's Cooking magazine and stay fresh on Tri-State Dining.
Hi, I'm Charlie McMahon with McMahon Exterminating, and I'm your Tri-State Pro for everything pest control, residential and commercial. We are the Tri-State Pros! Go to TriStatePros.com, the trusted source for professional services. Ending A Bug's Life with your host, Charlie McMahon. Spiders. Yeah, they're creepy. And we know that you want them out of your life. At McMahon Exterminating, we know how to take care of these arachnids. Be it brown recluse spiders or black widows, we got a program for these guys. Tell all your friends McMahon Exterminating is coming and we're bringing pesticides with us. Remember, who can end a bug's life? McMahon can. I'll be back. Splash into fun with F.T. Kelly and Sons. From new pool construction to all your chemical and pool supplies, F.T. Kelly and Sons is your place. Make your backyard paradise with F.T. Kelly and Sons. Outdoor entertaining is easy with F.T. Kelly and Sons. From pergolas, custom fire pits, furniture and more, F.T. Kelly has it. Make your backyard paradise with F.T. Kelly and Sons. At Camelot Jewelers, we realize picking out that perfect ring is a big deal. And you may not even have any idea where to start. Well, hold up. Yes, it is a big deal, but really, it's not that bad. For some guys, it's just a walk in the park. And for others, it's a bit of a group effort. But no matter what, we're here to help at Camelot Jewelers. I'm Paul Green, business manager of IBW Local 16. Could you imagine life without electricity? It's so important to all of us. That's why we are so highly trained and drug free. Go to SWIelectric.com for a contractor using our electricians. I am proud to work with the men and women of the IBW Local 16 as we come together to assist our local charities in our community. Thank you for being safe and thank you for using IBW Local 16 men and women. Just Desserts is brought to you by Roofers Local 106. Just Desserts. It's Just Desserts. We're here with Paul Green, business manager at IBEW Local 16, and our title sponsor. Thank you so much for your support of Tasting the Tri-State and well, all welcome. that we do. We enjoy it. We appreciate it, and we're going to honor you and make your favorite dessert, German chocolate brownies. It works for me. All right, it starts off with a pre-done brownie, but the topping is what makes it the German chocolate. So a stick of butter, some evaporated milk, a cup of sugar, and eggs. This is the key to it, and you just get this mixture going slowly because you don't want your eggs to scramble. It's just like breakfast. Yeah. Milk, Nutrition, eggs. Nutritional, yes. We really appreciate your support, Paul, with Local 16. It allows us to have this TV show, to promote the local restaurants to be on the air and you make that possible. It's a very good show. It, it lets people know what they've got in their community and, and uh, we're proud to sponsor it. Thank you so much. So this is going to melt. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add our pecans, coconut, coconut, and then a splash of good vanilla. And once it comes to a bubbly boil, we're going to put it into the fridge for about a half hour. Okay, our topping is cooled and is delicious. It looks delicious. And it goes all over. You ready to try one? They look great. Okay. Thanks for being a great sponsor, a great friend. We You're appreciate welcome. you. Thanks. Oh. I went my diet. See you next week. <laughs>